and actually was able to inspire enough confidence in everyone in the organization from the workforce to first-line supervisors to managers where the decision-making and corporate governance is about autonomy and power and how you distribute power within the organization. Tremendous example and was able to engineer a transformation by involving such a huge population of customers, according to Nadeem, that the organization came into black. Whereas previous seven years, it was in a loss. And who did that? Godfrey Toma. With whom? The same people who were part of a loss-making ship. And this happened back in 1999. I was very much part of it, and I, I can say that in this country, if there is an example, a radical, inspiring example of transformation, and using human capital, that is Pakistan Tobacco Company, and there are, of course, others as well, uh, KASB Pumps, I was an organization, and I recall Arif Ijaz, who was presiding over, he was engaged as a change agent. That organization was also going under, but he involved the same people who had been working in the organization, and Parvez Mughal, who at that time was around 55, and you've heard, that ji 55 years or 60 years ago, people change not change. No, every person in that organization cooperated, transformed, and that human capital, regardless of age, was able to bring a turnaround in KSB Palms, a German company. There are other examples which I would like to mention. ICI. I mean, this was another brilliant brand name um, till it was acquired by Axo Nobel. Um, World and Pakistan was no exception. Of course, today, Axel Nobel owns, it's a Dutch company, it owns the paints division of ICI. The other parts of the business will become a local company, and I hope that happens very soon. Because Engro is a glaring example of corporate governance for Pakistan, and I think as a flagship, its impact throughout the country is such that people are emulating their best practices even to this day, and I wish Asad Umar could have been part of this occasion to be able to talk about what their actions are. So, in addition, um, if you recall, uh, there was this organization called British Petroleum Pakistan, BP. This was acquired by Chinese very recently in Pakistan. The Chinese have put in 750 million US dollars in this operation, and not one Chinese is in Pakistan managing. It is an entirely Pakistani-driven team and they have been given the license to go out there and look not only at the core business and expand it, but also address the needs of the alternative energy. And Tariq Khamisani, uh, with whom I was talking last month, said that here is a unique opportunity and evidence that human capital resides in this country. The Chinese have full confidence in the entire team that has been there mostly since Union Texas Pakistan days. So here are some very, very good examples that we can call upon. Now I'd like to do a short activity, and I can see we have broadly three clusters. A would be from that side, B, and C. I would like a volunteer lady coming from each of these clusters, please. A volunteer lady, because remember, Nadeem, women are very, very few in, in this forum. And I think we should give them a voice. What do you say, gentlemen? Yes? No? Yes! So, yes, I would like a lady to come here with a writing pad and pen for this particular segment, this session. Yeah, 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 come along. I'm not going to bite, I promise. Second, a lady volunteer for this group. Very quickly, we don't have much time, otherwise uh, Tariq Saab is going to get very annoyed with me. I thought uh, ladies were bold and courageous. Let's give a big hand to this lady. A paper and pen with you. You'll need a pad and pen. So if you can just quickly borrow it or snatch it from someone, thank you. And if you could also come forward. So you're responsible for this group. This is your customer group. Please join me here. You, that is only your domain, but briefing is going to be similar. The activity we'll do is only five minutes. Are you, are you, are you? Come, come, come closer. I, 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 I. Madam, could you hurry up, 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 please? 
we'll just uh, have a quick introduction. Your name and your biography in next in, in one minute. This is Fatma Heather. I'm ACC member and I'm working in Descon Engineering Limited as internal auditor. Oh, wow, Descon. Again, another local inspiring example. Uh, I, the man talks about destiny. Hmm. Was my heart. I'm with ICAP. I'm senior manager in Islamabad. Good. And do they listen to you? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Sabahad Datul. I'm a training student from Yusuf Adil. Good. Now, your task, ma'am, and your name again, first name? Fatma. This group, all you have to do is, 20 points is what you've got to write down, randomly asking people to give one word. The question that you'll put to this group, which is C, is what, does, what are the ingredients that make marriage work? Yes? And you've got to have at least 20 points, but coming from this group, so please give them a random...